choice to make. You know, I could choose defeat or I could claim success. Sometimes, you know, we're faced with making those decisions many times in a single day. Or sometimes we may not think about it at all. Laying in a hospital bed, picking a tile on the ceiling to stare at, while a nurse I have never met gave me a sponge bath, I had to choose many, many, many times. And that's when Barry White helped me out. Yeah, I'm being serious, Barry White. That's right, a little mood music kind of helps smooth things over when you're naked with a complete stranger. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, she'd come in, I've never seen this woman before, and she goes, all right, Ms. Marquez, we're gonna be giving you a bath now. Okay, hold up. You haven't taken me to a steak dinner. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't drop this hospital gown for just anybody, so. <laughs> I'd put on Barry White, and she's like, oh, you know, this is really uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Look, sister, <laughs> we're in this together, you know. <laughs> You're uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable. Barry's helping lighten the mood. sudden something happened. Uh, God spoke to me. One evening as I laid in my hospital bed in Mississippi, I stared at the sky outside my window and um, it turned into this glorious sunset, which was really beautiful. You know, I started looking around the room and I noticed that I was no longer in the room anymore. I was in front of this large body of water and in my peripheral vision, there was a man standing right next to me. Now, we never made eye contact, and I never turned to look at him, but I knew that he was there. Well, we just stood there looking at this huge body of water and this gorgeous sunset, and we just stood there in silence for a little while, and then he spoke. Again, didn't look at me. He said, okay, I have a message that I want to send to the world, and I'm going to do it through you. Okay. Now, you're not going to know what it is, and I'm never going to tell you. <laughs> okay. But, look, I chose you because I know that you can handle this. Thomas says to Jesus, show me the marks. But I think Jesus flips it right back on him and says, show me the marks so I can heal you. Getting to know some of you here, I don't know many of you well, but I have a hunch that there is someone here tonight that is the overachiever in your family, right? The one who works so hard to gain your parents or your teachers or your coaches' approvals, and it never seems to be enough. Do you know what I say to that? Beloved. There's also some folks here who are always picked on, and yet they're never picked for the sports teams at school. Beloved. There's someone here tonight who looks in the mirror and sees their own image and hates what they see. Beloved. Because if there's one thing I pray for, it's that tonight, sometime this week, on the bus ride home at church, I don't know, somewhere in God's beautiful creation in the months to come, you might hear that still, small, strong voice whisper, Beloved. Because no matter who you are, no matter what you doubt, no matter what you've done, no matter what other people say, 
Beloved. Beloved. Yes. 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 Beloved.